Hi, it's great to speak to you today. Uh, your work on the series is, is incredible and there's surprises at every turn. Before getting involved, did you follow this case or, or watch the documentary? No, not me. I, had, I, I, I mean, I thought, I thought I had seen it and actually I had seen something else. I'd completely misconstrued the entire thing. So I watched it freshly once I was offered offered the job and uh yeah it was it was actually so amazing to have that on top of brilliantly already brilliantly written script so um but no I, I wasn't I'd heard of it I knew it was like a bit of a to-do but I hadn't seen it Colin no no I mean I, I came to the scripts completely fresh um I'd never heard of of Michael Peterson or the Staircase documentary um uh the true crime genre if that's what this is um uh it wasn't something i gravitate towards particularly um you know i'll fall down a rabbit hole along with everyone else if with, with, with a good mystery but um nope and uh it was the scripts they were so three-dimensional that when i went to the documentary i in some ways felt i already had a familiarity with them i mean I, that that was a testament to to the writing i think that um, I, I, I recognize these characters from what I just read. And that intrigued me because it's so difficult to find good writing. I mean, writing's hard. It's uh, good, writing a good script is, is difficult. And, you know, if you read enough of them, you, you see the percentages. So I just got very, very excited about um, something that was just this compelling. So how does the uncertainty, uncertainty of Peterson's guilt affect how you approach your roles? Um, well, it does affect it. I mean, it's not just about his guilt. It's about what he's about. Um, and then I started wondering if anyone's really essentially about anything. I mean, I, you know, I, I started off wanting to get some clarity, to find some sort of core, make some decisions, even if I don't share them with other people. And then whatever mystery I, I try to convey is in under my control. It didn't work out quite like that. Um, I, in the end, if I had, uh, if it felt like a mystery to me, if I found that um, elusive, I thought, well, maybe that's what I should play. You know, so I went day to day inhabiting a scene in whatever the scene required. Tony, how about you? Uh, <clears throat> What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> how did Neil not knowing of his guilt or innocence affect how you But I think that's the beautiful thing about this story. I think that's why they remade it. I think that's why people will want to keep watching it. Um, and it's why we were still every day to the bitter end when we were making this, scratching our heads and flip-flopping. He did it. He didn't do it. It was the hour. Like, you can't stop yourself from wondering. You can't stop wanting to know. And this is why you can't stop wanting to watch it. Um, it's just unknowable there will not be any answers unless Michael has some information if he did it and if he ever came forward which at this point I doubt he would then that's really the only solid information anyone would ever have um so working within those parameters I mean it's just like life it's a mystery right so you just kind of give give over we had the luxury of brilliant brilliant writing brilliant scripts and then beyond that you just you have to just make it's like any job really as an actor you have to turn up and make it real, make it as honest as possible. It's just that within this story, the ground is constantly moving. So, um, but we're not moving the ground. As long as we kind of stood some ground, it, it you landed somewhere, but it's, that was kind of, we weren't in control of the context, right? So we just had to take care of each, each moment. So this is not your typical marriage story. Uh, what was it like for the two of you working together in a story that covered so much ground? You have these beautiful family moments, you have these moments of passion, and then of course you have this brutal death. How was your working relationship? Working relationship was excellent. Colin is the best. I love working with him and I can't wait to do it again. I think he's brilliant. Total dream. He's normal and extraordinary and uh, just so such an easygoing nature beautiful person great human decent person amazing man there you go <laughs> are you making me blush i mean that's obviously all the same things back uh and it, it, it i'm not a man <laughs> it's a, it's a, all that's uh, you know i think there was an ease with each other which established itself right at the very be beginning um it's you know one of the tricky and bizarre things about acting is that you have to assume intimacy 
with someone you've just met. Um, if this is someone you've known for years or worked with before, then you know you can fast fast forward into a place of ease and trust. That you don't always get that with someone who was a stranger yesterday. And um, I think it it was uh, you know one of the things that was a great advantage when we met is it it did feel like we knew each other pretty well right from the beginning. Um, there's nothing like trust. I mean, having an ease with the person you're working with. You know, it's a it's everything because it also it, it doesn't even matter what kind of scene it is. It just allows you to be, I think people do better work when they're re relaxed. So if you have that sense of ease with someone, you're only going to get, you know, great work out of them. And it was immediate. It was uncanny. It was just so easy, um, dreamy. Well, thank you so much for your time for speaking to me today. Uh, I absolutely loving this series. They only gave me five episodes, so they're torturing me without giving me the, the rest. So I'm... Uh... Well, you've seen more than us, so well yeah, done. Oh, well, you're, you're, you're yeah. in for a treat. Fantastic yeah. work across the board. It's, it's excellent. Uh, thank Jeez. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day.